I was a sprinter and a hurdler. And you know, when you hurdle, you just have to get to the end and you jump over obstacles, in fact. And so I think that unwittingly, that probably trained me to know that you just get over them to get to that end. You know, I've never said that out loud. I've never thought about that. But maybe that made a difference to me. We're about to step into the vibrant life of Ronnie Khan, the social entrepreneur who gave us Oz Harvest, the revolutionary food rescue charity that saw her being awarded the Order of Australia. Ronnie is an entrepreneur driven by purposeful impact and renowned for disrupting the food waste landscape in Australia. The reason I started Oz Harvest was because I had a problem that needed to be solved. I ran a business that created food waste. Did I understand the ramifications of finding a solution to that problem? Never. And so often when people say to me, you know, how can I start? How can I find purpose? How can I do something fabulous? And it's not that what I do is always fabulous. What I do is, is fulfilling, it's, it's needed, it's meaningful. But often we have to look and what problems sit in our lives and when we turn around and say oh why doesn't somebody fix that and why doesn't somebody fix that often the solution is if you fix it yourself and that's what happened with me i was creating food waste needed a solution it dawned on me that i was wasting this beautiful food and i'd wasted it for years and that what if that good food could feed someone in need at that point, I knew nothing about the environmental benefits. And so the solution for me was, what if I take that food instead of throwing it away and feed people? And I guess 175 million or 180 million meals later, it wasn't such a bad idea. Entrepreneurs are unique in the way they see the world and the way they approach business. It begs the question, what is at the heart of the entrepreneur? What makes them tick? What makes them different? When I think about what's at the heart of an entrepreneur, I think it is courage. I think it is boldness. I do think it is, there's a level of naivety, but are willing to take a risk. You know, I think resilience. One of the things that I think is absolutely endemic within the entrepreneurial spirit is this notion of curiosity, of willing and wanting to see what's out there, what can I do bigger, better, how do I do things differently. Ronnie exudes a passion for what she does and her work at Oz Harvest is responsible for inspiring so many others to do more. So it's always fascinating to find out who or what inspires these people. I think that there are not a lot of inspirational leaders in the world today that are visible. I think there are many invisible leaders. So for example, I have a wonderful, who, you know, I never called her a mentor, but as a role model, my neighbor who turned into this wonderful uh, guide and role model and is 95. And when I called, she still lives in South Africa. And when I called her this week, she said, I'm very busy on a webinar can I call you back? Because she's learning new things. So in terms of curiosity, learning, staying agile and staying, you know, that is a wonderful role model. Nelson Mandela, I think, is my dream leader. Someone who had the humility to forgive and to show the world what that forgiveness could allow. An entrepreneur is someone who seems endlessly motivated to do and be more. What drives this motivation and passion each day? I was giving a talk to 5,000 16 year olds and quite honestly was quite daunted because thinking what on earth is going to interest 5,000 16 year olds. The point is I somehow got on stage, must have rocked it. There was silence. They listened, they loved it. And then it was question time. And one of the kids at the very back of the auditorium, I couldn't see, I couldn't see if it was a male or female, I couldn't see their face. All I saw outlined was a little hoodie. This kid said, first of all, I want to thank you 
because I've been a recipient of Vice Harvest Food. But secondly, I want to ask you what happens when you have a bad day? I thought for a second and said, first of all, I want to thank you for your courage. I mean, to say that in front of 5,000 kids that he's received food from Oz Harvest was an extraordinary thing to say. And I said, so when I wake up every single morning, what I've realized is I actually have a choice. I have a choice to, as to whether I'm going to be grumpy, whether I'm going to be miserable, whether I'm going to be happy, and I can make that choice. And I've chosen to make the choice of being positive and action driven every single day. This kid turned around and said, I think you might have changed my life. Not only has Ronnie helped transform the way we look at business, she's also helped to transform the way we think about food waste as a community. There are actually four ways that Oz Harvest has transformed Australia. Number one, we changed the laws to allow good food to be given away for free without fear of liability, which means any business does not have to throw away their surplus to landfill. We've changed the way Australians think about food, that they value food more, and that is a work in process because we have still so much work to do to get each of us to understand our individual role in not wasting food. We have allowed and pushed Australia to commit to halving food waste by 2030 in line with the UN SDG goals. In 2015, I went to Canberra and got that commitment. And number four, we have shifted the landscape around and awareness around how we utilize food in our everyday lives and in a business. As well as being an entrepreneur, Ronnie has unintentionally made her mark in marketing and branding. Let's talk yellow. I could talk about yellow for hours. It is bright, it is warm, it is smiley, it is happy, but it is noticeable. And I think even though I'd never had a marketing background, what I knew was I wanted something that people would see. And I figured if I had yellow vehicles, who's not going to see them? And it's turned out to be a, a very smart branding move because it is very visible and we're very known for our yellow and black, like busy bees running around the city. I want to thank Ronnie for sharing her insights and knowledge on what has been and continues to be an incredible journey through business and life in Australia. A fascinating insight at what lies at the heart of the entrepreneur.